Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using a new stamp set and it's called Game On. In today's card I'm going to be using this image, the cards, playing cards and the dice and the sentiment Hope your day is all fun and games. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there you are. That's what I'm going to be using today. I've also got a new card colour. This is called Cinnamon Cider. And I've got it at 11 and a qu three quarters by four and one eighth. Scored, folded in half. I've got a piece of Aliexpresso at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And I've got a piece of wood paper at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. This isn't Stampin' Up, but in the Stampin' Up catalogue there is some wood paper. I've also got a piece of white cardstock at 3 and 7 eighths by two and seven eighths and a scrap of white for the sentiment it's this we're going to be working on today so I'll put that where I can see what I'm doing because I've got to copy it this is going to open this way and I also need a piece of white card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside so that will go that. In fact, let's glue all this down. Ready. Might as well prepare it all because I'm not doing nothing with this. stick this. On the first card I did the colour I used was chocolate chip and as it's retired I thought I'd better use a different colour and guess what this is my last piece of early espresso. don't have any more left not even a scrap And then we'll stick this bit inside. I was going to stamp happy birthday on the inside of these, but I decided to leave them blank because they could be used for anything really. Just because he's having a day of fun and games doesn't mean to say it's his birthday. Could be celebrating somewhere else. Right, that's that. Put it aside out of the way. Right. Now then, to start off with, I'd got my half inch circle punch. And I took the corners off. Right. With this, I took the point of the paper to the middle of the circle and clipped. On the inside there's a tiny circle and I've been using that as my guide. So corner of the paper to the middle of the circle and clip and it's going everywhere. Just as well it's me that hoovers up. Right, I've managed to get three bits of card, I don't know where the other little corner went, it's on the floor. 
Right. So, now with the little checkered stamp and the cinnamon cider ink, what I'm going to do is just stamp all over this card but not near the edge just like that that's all I want give me a bit of background Right, we need a big scrap, scrap of card here. Forgot about the scraps of card. And with the cards and memento black ink, we're going to ink that up, stamp it on the card, because we're going to cut these out. Like that. very dark. Oh, I don't know why. Hang on. Because I stamped off on my last one. I prefer the dark ones, which I'm going to keep. And we also need the dice. Like that. Now with the hearts I got my cherry cobbler ink and I coloured in the hearts red that and with my basic black I just dotted on each dot on the dice just to enhance them and that's a three and this one's a six And that one is a two. And then we cut them out. Lost it. Right, just trim that bit down a bit more. There's our dice.
I lighten some of the new um, stamp sets in the catalogue. Some really nice ones. I've got four, four new ones. Yeah, four new stamp sets, which I'm obviously filming for you today. So we have the cards. And we have the dice. And we just need the sentiment. So stamp that out. I think it's upside down, but it doesn't matter. scissors and we'll chop it off and that will be our sentiment That's all going on dimensionals. That one I'm going to ink up, but these, this goes down flat. have dimensionals on the back of them. And the dice. So Take the back ends off and we'll place that just there oh I know what I've done need to put that over a bit Just like that, and then I'm gonna bring back the cinnamon, cinnamon cider ink, and we just bounce that off just to get some ink around the edge of it, like that. And then we're going to add a dimensional. I think that's too big, isn't it? Nope. Is it one or two? One. Oh no, it's all the way along. Silly woman. you're all staying safe and everything's starting to get back to normal for you all. Our shops are opening up on Monday. Not that I can go out yet. I can have a member of a family in the garden visiting. Whoopee. I've had both my daughters who live down here visiting and my sister. Oh, 
obviously not my oldest daughter because she lives too far away. Well, there you have it. Another mail card for you. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified, hopefully, of any more cards I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.